All right, guys, I'm gonna give you the rundown of how we're looking. So this is the back side of the hedge. Um, we're doing pretty good. We only have just a small portion. I'm, I'm gonna get up on the ladder and show you guys. We got most of almost all the top done. The only parts that we need is the very like last foot of, like the last foot like this much, the side of the hedge. And then the hedge going that way, we have that little bit too. Um, so this one, this is the most difficult side. I'll show you why, but just finished this side up. Looks really good, came out pretty well. This side we have a fence to get along. As you can see it's very tight. Um, we're working our way, so we have this little bit right here to do. So let me get up on the ladder and show you guys how it's looking. <sighs> All right, so as you can see on that side of the hedge, we have just that last little foot on the edge to do. This whole side is complete. We have that little foot to do. Like I said, this is the only side that we have left. I'm sorry, this side. And there's a small portion right over there. They have this like Japanese kind of garden thing, so we have to throw a tarp down. So this is, I believe, day five on the job. Like I said, we got most, basically the whole top done, uh, especially right here, this side. And uh, so tomorrow, lucky, we'll be finishing up. We're gonna finish off this side right here. Um, this side and then the last part of the uh, back side of that. So we'll finish that tonight. And then tomorrow uh, we'll get the rest of all the other stuff pruned up, cleaned up. The whole inside is all cleaned up of the hedge. And uh, so we just got the outside to do. So we're making good progress. Happy with how it's turning out. Client's very happy. All right guys, how's it going? So we're on day six of the hedge trimming job. Uh, this is our last and final day. We're at the last little bit of hedge trimming. Let me go ahead and show you guys what we got going on. So as of right now, all we have is this little strip on the very edge we we could kind of reach it with the scaffolding um but we were using our three foot extension for the head trimmer and um the problem with it is that we just weren't getting a good cut so what we're doing is we're using these wood platforms that i'm standing on since the shrub is um pretty strong already and basically what i'm doing is i'm standing on that cutting a piece moving this piece over on top and basically playing leapfrog all the way down the hedge and it's actually working quite well so that's probably one tip I would say if you're doing a wide enough hedge where there's strong enough branches underneath to support you, if not, use a wider board. Uh, but these ones are perfect size to easily move around, no problem at all. And like, it's just, it's barely sinking in, barely moving. So as of right now, I got everything behind me all done. So that's all done. That, we only have a corner piece right there. And then I have, we got the rest of the whole entire hedge completed. Uh, so Jeff's just doing some tuning up along the sides. The back side's all complete as well, which you just saw some video in it earlier, I believe, if I put this video together the way I want it to. And then this whole side of the hedge I did completely yesterday. So like I said, all we have is this little fine strip right here, some tuning up, and then we got cleanup to do. Um, a good portion about that much over there was done. There was rock behind it, so we just put a, down a tarp, so that was easy cleanup. The rest is just simple raking along the grass and some flower beds over here, so it's no big deal at all. Uh, but yeah, of course this this job went a little bit longer than I wanted it to which is fine But then again, there was a day where uh, Jeff was here by himself And there was a day where I was here by myself because Jeff was sick and I was off doing other work So it took a little bit longer than I thought so Next year we're, we will have to increase our bid on um, this But of course just finding ways uh, a couple tips that I found to increase uh, time like I said this using the 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 board wood the board wood um, using the uh, the plywood standing on top and head trimming the last little bit corner uh, is actually very helpful. So I would recommend if, if the shrub's strong enough that you can hold it, completely do that. Uh, using the scaffolding, of course, along the sides or along the first you know, part, uh, that saves a lot of times. I would recommend wheels. We were gonna get wheels originally for the scaffolding. The only, the only reason why I didn't was because the ground here is pretty soft and I was worried that it was gonna start leaving, um, you know, pretty bad wheel marks. But I think with the wheels, it, it probably would have left the wheel marks to be honest. Um, but it probably also would have made it a little bit more simpler to push it. I can pull it by myself. Uh, it's a little bit easier with you guys, but I think with wheels, uh, we would be able to get it done a little bit faster. So definitely doing that. Um, so the wheels scaffolding using the the planks on top uh, of course the right ladders um, sharp hedge trimmers all that kind of stuff and so um 
then of course tarps in the areas laying down we didn't do it along this the lawn section just because we could easily rake that up that it was no problem at all but along uh, the beds i can't show you right here because i'm too close to the edge we have a tarp down there because they have like a japanese kind of garden thing down there the next door neighbors but using tarps will help it definitely save um some cleanup time as well would probably recommend that so, so just some tips for um if you guys decide to uh, if you're doing any head trimming jobs and of course next year when we do this hopefully we'll at least take a day or two off of work for us next year uh, to get this job done a little bit faster but of course it was more of a learning experience because I've never done one this big before we've done our grandparents like I showed you but theirs is very simple just because we can easily rake it up this one's a little bit different because we're dealing with two different neighbors I'm having problems with that neighbor over there I'll tell you guys about it later well, I'll just tell you now I don't care uh, I, was mow I used to mow her yard and I canceled my contract with her because her yard is completely weeds. doesn't look like it from here, but it's completely weeds. So I canceled it because those weeds were getting um, taken to all my other accounts and I was constantly doing weed removal. Well, she's upset about that. So when we went over there this morning to ask about cleaning up in her yard, she asked because we had to do the like this portion right here that much of the backside like what you know like what we have here. My employee told her that, well, it would take us two hours to get that trimmed down and then everything cleaned up that fell on her side of the fence. And she was complaining about how two hours was too long because she can't let her dogs out even though we would leave the, the gates closed. So I wasn't too happy about that this morning. So anyways, we'll figure something out that over there. But anyways, that's what's going on here. So I'll get a final shot from the ground. It looks a lot better from the ground. It looks pretty good up here. But this is basically what we're, what we're dealing with. So hopefully those few tips help you guys out where if you guys are planning on doing something this big or even smaller hedges just a couple tips and i uh, hope you guys are enjoying the video so all right guys it is 4 30 surprisingly at night and here's the finished product it's a little dark we'll be back tomorrow we just gotta clean up the back side but that's what it looks like so coming out very well and um oh hello and so yeah, it came out very well. Got it all cleaned up. But just, like I said, just the back side of the neighbor's house. So we're calling it a night. Be back for the final day, luckily tomorrow. So, all right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And we will see you guys next time on Ambrose Landscaping. <laughs>